This is the world's largest jet seaplane, yet it was only four years ago that the West learned of its existence. To most New Zealanders, Air Expo 92 is just a vague notion until this extraordinary machine splashes down in Auckland Harbour for its first ever water landing outside the old Soviet bloc. Suddenly the waterfront is jammed with onlookers, pleasure boats crowd around. It's one of three Ilyushin IL-76 heavy load jets based in Auckland. They're chartered around the globe by a New Zealand freight company. Today the huge hold is pregnant with parachutists. None of these 135 skydivers has ever even jumped from a jet before. Yet here they are rolling down the runway aiming to break a record for a mass leap into thin air. It's a short takeoff. The Russian jet was designed for small, rough Siberian airstrips. But it's not to be a sh** flight. Plagued by a low cloud ceiling, the monster Ilyushin will climb, then circle for hours. Inside, its impatient cargo and its Russian crew all itch for a patch of blue sky and a long drop. For all of that, the stepped hull and the little sea rudder under the tail look a tiny bit like something built by the Minsk Dockyard Collective. But in full flight, with wingspan two-thirds that of a 747 Jumbo, the Berry F-A-40 shows just why it's named the Albatross. What he doesn't mention is his passenger, a woman whose parachute landed in the fireball of the Harrier they'd both just left. Ashley Stevenson woke up, ran into the flames and rescued her once again. Today's Harrier display is flown by his colleague, squadron leader Ian MacDonald. The Harrier looks and sounds like a colossal Rolls-Royce Pegasus jet engine with a few small attachments and a pilot on top. And that's basically what it is. The magic is in its agility. Join us on our full advert free streaming service at historicalmachines.tv, where you'll find lots more great footage just like this, all for less than the cost of a cup of coffee per month.